Okay, just two and three on the show yesterday. That does include the Jets completing a successful teaser bet that I gave out on Sunday. As I'm sure you've all heard by now, road favorites were a perfect 9-0 ATS in NFL Week 6. There was only one combo of home dogs that would have worked in a six-point tease, and I did give that to you right here on the Power 5 with the Broncos and Jets. So a small measure of success on an otherwise somber week of NFL for years truly. Furthermore, we could have gone 3-2 and two yesterday, but Aaron Rodgers just had to complete that Hail Mary right before half, thus killing our longest completion prop. Nevertheless, it is a 143, 117, and 10 run with free plays here on the Power 5. I'll take it. For today, I'm giving you my lone MLB client play for Tuesday, free of charge. Do I have your attention yet? Not to mention, looks on all three games tonight in college football and an early look ahead to Saturday college football as well. Don't forget it's $5 Tuesday at Wager Talk. More on that in just a little bit. But first, you can always go ahead, let me know what you think of my selections here on the show down in the comments section below. And if you agree, don't be afraid to smash that like button. Always appreciate the support. Here we go. For ALCS Game 2 tonight between the Guardians and Yankees, I like the under. This is going to be a 3% client release that you're getting for free right here on the Power 5. Obviously, the Yankees take Game 1, 5-2, to two, behind a solid start from Carlos Rodon. I really worry about my Guardians and their ability to score in this series, at least at Yankee Stadium. This is a lineup that ranks just 23rd in baseball and runs per game on the road, 4.1. I don't think they're getting a 4 tonight. Tonight, uh, in Game 2, they are facing Garrett Cole, who has allowed 3 earned runs or less, 11 of his last 12 starts for the pinstripes. That includes 7 strong innings, where Cole allowed just one run in the LDS against the Royals. Behind Cole is a very strong Yankees bullpen that has allowed just one run so far in the playoffs. That was a solo homer by uh, Brian Rocchio last night. Now, the good news for my Guardians is that they're going to have their de facto ace, Tanner Bybee, on the mound tonight. He's pitched better on the road uh, all season. 2.76 ERA versus 4.15 in progressive field. Bybee allowed just two runs in eight and two-third innings in the division series versus Detroit. Manager Steven Vogt, uh, he gave all his high leverage arms the night off in game one, which was much needed. Those guys pitched a lot in the Tigers series. Guardians had the best bullpen in baseball during the regular season. I like under seven in game two, a night where the weather conditions should favor the pitchers. Moving to college football here uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, as I said earlier, we do have three less than attractive matchups, but I've got looks for all of them. Uh, let's start with the team total. I've had a lot of success with team totals here on the Power 5, particularly last week. Jacksonville State over 38.5. Western Kentucky over 38.5. UNLV over 21.5 in the first half. Was 3-1 and one overall last week with college football team total. So how about we go South Alabama team total over 34.5 tonight versus Troy. That's currently minus 115 at DraftKings. The Jaguars do lead the Sun Belt in total offense with 466.2 yards per game. They're number one in rushing as well. Hopefully tonight they can convert all that yardage into points. Don't think it will be a problem against the Troy defense that's already given up 38 points three different times this season. Of course, I like playing the over at 34.5 for South Alabama because 35 is a key number. In its two wins this season, South Alabama's averaged 67.5 points per game themselves. Like them to score at least 35 here in a matchup of two Sun Belt teams that have both fallen off a bit, at least compared to the last couple of seasons. This game's on ESPN2 at 7.30 Eastern, in case you're wondering. Uh, and that South Alabama, the fact that they're averaging 67.5 points per game in their two wins, that's obviously skewed by a game against an FCS team. But still, I think they can get to 35 tonight. All right, number three, Conference USA brings us the gem of Kennesaw State, Middle Tennessee tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. I'd play the under at 51. Kennesaw State, new to FBS level this season. They're the worst team in the country. They're coming off their highest scoring effort, though, two weeks ago against Jacksonville State, but it was only 24 points. Before that, the Owls had scored just 16, 10, 10, and 13 in their first four games. Here, they're going to be facing a Middle Tennessee team that has not scored more than 21 against any FBS opponent this season. Both offenses play slow as well. So we'll look past the terrible defensive numbers of both teams and play the under 51 there. 
Number four, we've got also got Louisiana Tech, New Mexico State tonight. A real rogues gallery of college football teams in action tonight. Uh, we continue to scrape the bottom of the barrel here in college football. There's a 9 p.m. Eastern kickoff from Las Cruces on ESPNU. New Mexico State's terrible, but Louisiana Tech should not be laying double digits on the road to anyone. Now, I know the Bulldogs did just drop 48 last week on Middle Tennessee, but this has not been a good offense most of the season in Ruston, 97th in points per game at 24.8. And here is all you need to know, gang. Since 2020, Louisiana Tech is not only 0-7 against the spread as a road favorite, but they have lost all seven of those games outright. Yes, 0-7 straight up as a road favorite and against the spread since 2020. That includes at FIU as two-and-a-half-point chalk in their last road game uh, back on September 28th. It was a 17-10 to loss for Louisiana Tech. So take the points here with New Mexico State. All right, before I get to my look ahead for Saturday, I want to remind you uh, that since it is Tuesday, right now at wagetalk.com, you can get a best bet from me for only $5. Yes, just $5. I am going for my 10th straight winner in college football this with, with this one here uh I as you know I do have the number one football record this season at wager talk 33 and 16 combined in NFL and CFB that's 68 point uh 68 percent pardon me winners plus 48.1 units of profit includes seven and over the last two weeks in college again nine straight college football winners overall from me going back to the end of September. Now we look to make it 10 in a row. The next winner is currently available for just $5 today only at my page, wt.buzz slash pp. Uh, full disclosure, that is not a game for tonight. It is a game uh, for later in the week. Last week, my $5 customer appreciation play was on Iowa, minus two and a half. What the Hawkeyes do? Well, as you know, they destroyed Washington 40 to 16. All right, let's now do an early look ahead for Saturday here. We like to give some early look aheads in college football on the show. And I'm going to take a look at Maryland plus seven and a half against USC on Saturday. Why would anyone lay this number with USC right now? The Trojans have lost three of four in the Big Ten. And they trailed by double digits at home in the lone win, which was against Wisconsin. Now, they're off a brutal OT loss at home to Penn State. Now they make a cross-country road trip to College Park, Maryland. That's bad news because the last time Southern Cal won a regular season game in either the Central or Eastern time zone was September of 2012 against Syracuse. That was over 12 years ago. Trojans have already lost outright as road favorites to both Michigan and Minnesota. Not only did they struggle in the first half versus Wisconsin, but it took a touchdown in the final seconds to beat LSU uh, in the opener. The defense gave up 500 yards, over 500 yards to Penn State resulting in that blown double-digit lead last Saturday. Now, all those teams are better than Maryland, who's 0-3 in the Big Ten. But the Terps, that's a phony result they're off. The 37-10 loss to Northwestern last Friday. They were minus four in turnover margin, had a fumble return for touchdown. Keep in mind, the Terps entered that game with one of the best turnover margins in the entire country. I think they can keep this at least within one score. Take the home dog, Maryland, plus 7.5 against USC for Saturday. That rounds out the Power Five. Let's now recap. Our selections for today, in case you forgot anything. Number one, Guardians-Yankees, under seven in ALCS game two. Number two in college football, we like South Alabama, team total over 34 and a half versus Troy. Number three, Kennesaw State, Middle Tennessee, under 51. Number four, New Mexico State, plus 10 and a half. At home versus Louisiana Tech. Don't forget about that trend. Louisiana Tech 0-7 straight up and ATS as a road favorite since 2020. And then number five for Saturday, look ahead, Maryland plus 7.5 versus USC. I would still take it at 7 if you can't get the hook. Go ahead, let me know what you think of those selections down below if you already haven't done so. And don't be shy about dropping your best bets for Tuesday as well. Always enjoy reading those. Again, go to wt.buzz slash BP for my $5 winner as we look to make it 10 straight in college football. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Click that bell for instant alerts. That way you're notified when all of your favorite shows, including this one and the Morning Wager, me and Mark Zinno, when those shows drop. Uh, and that's going to do it for Tuesday's edition of the Power Five. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.